Good afternoon, Michael and Susan. Thank you for stopping by our Seattle office here today to learn a little bit more about NetApp. Uh, from our last conversation we had on the phone, uh, you guys had a lot of data coming in. You're kind of constrained in your storage environment. So you're looking for a, a new solution that um, can kind of take into account what you guys have purchased in the past and then be able to grow with you guys moving forward. Um, the other initiative was you guys have, you guys are uh, rolling out VDI this year with v VMware as your, um, as your solution. So I wanted to bring in a storage solution that works very well with that and NetApp is the right fit uh, in my mind. So what I've done here is throw together a quick whiteboard session to kind of show you how with NetApp you're able to increase your data for less money. Um, the key word with, with NetApp, there's two of them actually, but number one is leverage and then the other one would be efficiency. So um, real quick, um, because of NetApp, a couple of our customers in the past, Nexus, Lexus, or Lexus, Nexus has um, decrease their data management costs by 30% and also reduce their storage footprint, footprint by 70% using NetApp and then also AFA insurance. Um, their data volume has, has uh, dropped by 60%, their backup times have dropped by 18 hours a month and they've also reduced their provisioning time. So how do they do that? Um, again, keyword is leverage. Um, right now you know, a lot of customers have a mixed storage environment because they've been purchasing different things throughout time. So with them, you're able to utilize what you've purchased in the past. You know, it's, if you have a little bit of NetApp, EMC, HP, Dell, Hitachi, uh, with the integrated uh, storage strategy with uh, NetApp, you're able to still use that and have it report to the one common uh, operating system throughout all NetApp's uh, levels, which is data on tap. So, um, again, going back to leverage, you want to leverage um, that by reducing your 50% your upfront costs and then eventually moving forward over the next three or four years. So how do we do that? Uh, number one is optimize what you already have. So uh, this ties back into using what you already have and then when you buy your initial order of um, NetApp, say it's 10, you know, usually it'd be 10 terabytes of storage you need with another vendor. Uh, through the provision, we were able to do it for only you know, purchasing seven, seven terabytes and be able to grow that moving forward as, as you know, case by case basis or what you need it. Um, reducing your footprint using deduplication. Uh, you're probably using, you might be using some other solution right now to dedu, um, but with the dedu solution built into NetApp, you don't have to do that anymore and you're reducing the um, storage by 50% off of that data that's being, being used. Uh, next would be protect for less. Uh, many many customers use mirroring through other uh, through other solutions, but we found that practical array protection through NetApp um, is actually more efficient than mirroring and uh, uh, less expensive because you're able to use uh, bigger, less expensive disks. Um, testing for less. This is you know in your test and dev environment uh, right now. You might be using full apps uh, or you know, full, full uh, versions of, of different apps and stuff like that. With this, you're able to use uh, virtual editions of it, so you're able to bring your, your space needed down by up to 90%. Um, copying for less, this is repli this is in thin replication. So right now, uh, many storage, different storage solutions, um, it's constantly replicating everything that's coming in. With this, they're able to pick out what is truly unique to the data coming in instead of replication, replicating redundant information, be able to do just simply what you need. So if you tie those five things together, um, it, can, it brings you to number six, which is buy less. So moving forward, be able to uh, buy less storage, use less disk space, less power, and less manpower to, to administer it because, um, again, you're using one, one, common, uh, one common operating system data on tap, and it's just super easy to use, and, Everybody, it's just a lot easier. Um, and then it's tied together with great auto support. So uh, a couple other examples, American Greetings, they reduce their capacity savings by, uh, they increase their capacity savings by 86%. Um, and then with auto support and everything they have going on, um, they have five nines for app availability. Um, SUNY New York was able to reduce their footprint by 43%. Storage power and cooling costs by 75%, and the VM storage costs by um, 66%. So, um, do you have coming from that? Do you have any questions that you?
you'd like to ask about that? 